morning bro I know it's been a while since I made a video and uh, this one is going to be a long one if I ever finish it uh, I'm going to build a new base uh, the beginning the first part of this I'm going to show you my current uh, home base and then I'm going to spend some time looking for a planet to build a new one on and then I'm actually going to build what I have in mind but I'm also going to talk a little bit about the game at the beginning so uh, I'll try to tell you where to skip to because there's going to be a bunch of time where I'm going between planets looking for things. And, you know, it may be interesting for five minutes, but it won't be interesting for an hour. Oh, the reason I had that screen up there so long is because I am, I wanted to show you, I am 67 and change hours into this playthrough. Um, I still haven't finished the main campaign because the main campaign is kind of long now. Um, I'm going to get in my ship just to show you something. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to show you so, uh, several things, actually, at the beginning. Uh, just yesterday, I, for the first time, uh, jumped through a black hole. It the, the game volume might be a little bit loud, but I'm not going to be in a ship too long. I'm not going to be talking too much. Uh, so you can look at the galaxy map like this. Um, we just want to look in free view. And you'll notice I don't know anything around here. Because I went through a black hole and it took me to a random place. Now this green line is trying to take me to my current mission, which would be... I wonder if we can use that to track all the way back. you got to follow... or is it right there? I'm not real good with this map. Yeah. That's where it is. Oh, I need an Emerald Drive to get there. I don't have one of those. I can't do this quite yet. <coughs> Pardon me. That's okay. Uh, I'm just trying to give you... I don't, I don't think you've got very far, but I'm trying to show you the scope. These are all planets you can go to. I mean, I can go to any of these. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I'd want to, but you know, the theory is I could. Um... I guess Scarlet just barked and woke up the house. Um, so anyways, what is kind of strange is if I go back to my ship and just turn around and dock again. So I am out here in the Granning a Grang, G-R-A-N-G, Sphere. I, I've never been here before. But every space station is essentially the same. Um, when you get out of your ship, and that is space that way, to the right is upgrades. So, if I wanted to, I... Oh, I'm sorry, if I wanted to and I could afford it, this is where you do Starship upgrading. But I I have quite a bit of money, but I can't do this because I don't have the currency it wants. I could sell my ship for three and a half million. I could upgrade it. And I may have a storage augmentation. Oh, I could purchase one for 15 million units, which would be... I think I have 20 million units, so it'd be almost all my money. <clears throat> I don't have 25,000 nanites, and I don't have a storage augmentation, and I don't know where to get one. <coughs> Pardon me. So I'm going to leave, just leave that alone. This is where I could sit here and change my, uh, change what I look like, so what color I am, what I, you know, what I look like, that sort of stuff. Um, this is the exosuit upgrade. You can use this once at each station. Um, you'll notice... Uh, it went right to the cargo tab. There's also technology, which I have maxed out, and general, which I have maxed out. Uh, I haven't maxed out cargo yet. It's going to cost me 650,000 units. Oh, I have 17.435, whatever, million units. Uh, I've been dumping my money into this because I figure eventually that will end. Uh, this guy will sell, sell me upgrades for my exosuit. Um... This uses a different currency, though. It doesn't use units. It uses nanite clusters. 
Um, they come in four classes, A, B, C, and S, with C being the worst and S being the best. So I don't even look at C class or B class, I only buy A or S. Um, I don't care about these protection modules because I try not to stay on planets that need it too much, but here's a movement module for 363, that's class A. That's all he has. Um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this right now because this isn't what I want to do, but if you look uh, at my exosuit technology, here's my jetpack. So I have an S, two A's, and a B attached to it. So I could probably upgrade this B, but <coughs> I'm not, not going to mess with it right now. Uh, they, <clears throat> I don't know when you played this, but they added uh, dune buggies, essentially, to this game. Uh, I have all three of them. I'm going to show you all three of them. Uh, part of the reason I want to build this new base is I want to build a garage for them. I don't know why I want to build a garage for them. I just do. <laughs> uh, oh, and this guy will sell upgrades for your little dune buggy dunes, deals. Uh, this guy sells upgrades for uh, starships, you know, basically the planes that you fly or the the ships you fly around. Here I could get an upgrade. Oh, that's nice. What are you? What class are you? You're class A. How much do I want for this thing? Potential damage 512. That's actually worse than my current potential damage in a class C. But that's because I have a bunch of upgrades installed for my that's my mining laser, where is it? My barrel ionizer. I've got two two class A's. Or for my bolt caster, I'm sorry. I have two A's and a C. And this has a bolt caster with no attachments. I'm I'm just curious. No, you can't can't move these. Um the the, the nice thing about this is it has twenty four slots, whereas mine has nineteen and you cannot increase the slot size. All right, so now now I, I would have to think about this because I actually have three uh, three multi tools. This one, I, I my thought was I would set up just for damage because its damage potential is twelve oh nine, which is twice the other one, and it's really not even set up all that well. It's just a class B. It's a small little gun, um, but it's got a pulse spit, split spitter in it. Um, and the bolt caster. I should take the bolt caster out because the bolt caster doesn't do near as much damage as the pulse spitter does. Anyways, um, there's other stuff to explore and see on this side, but it's all generally the same. There's usually a, a cube of navigation data, which I <coughs> used to hoard, and I now have hundreds of. Um, I should sell them, but they're really not worth very much. You would need literally a gazillion of them to make any money on them. Uh, over on this side is the trade terminal where you can sell stuff. Uh, this dude will give you quests, I think. Yeah, he's the, he's the agent. This guy is the envoy. I don't think this guy will talk to me, but let's see. Yeah, he won't talk to me because uh, I, I haven't gone far enough in the storyline, I don't think. Um, these nonsense words are here because I haven't learned all the words in, in, the, in the language. Oh, they're Envoy of the Merchant's Guild. Okay, so he won't talk to me yet. I, I don't think I have any rep with the Merchant's Guild yet. I don't know how to get it. The way you learn the language is you talk to people. So the purple words I have learned by talking to other people, and I'll learn a new word now. And I'll get you to learn one of four kinds of words. Um, I'm going to learn a friendship symbol from this guy. So I learned the word aid. Now, when you talk to this guy, it's important to read as much of this as you can. <laughs> So this says, carapace required to do something, examine something. So he's looking for something, I think. 
So he's happy. And they gesture toward their chest, making me an offer. So he wants me to look at his stuff. But what you can do here is practice your language skills, and you have to pick a word that matches what he's talking about. So trade helping researcher unknown. All right, let's try trade. Uh, of course, that wasn't it. Am I going to lose rep with them? No. All right, so anyways, the only other thing over on this side is this terminal, teleportation terminal. So we're going to teleport to a few of my bases. We're not going to go to all of them because going to all of them would take some time. As you see, I have, uh, there's five, ten. Uh, I'm changing the, the filter. Hold on. Your bases. So I have five, ten, fifteen, or thirteen bases. Now all of these bases are, are farming a different kind of thing. That's how I got all of my money is by farming this stuff. But I can't really effectively do what I want to do. Uh, what I really want to do is I want to make a bunch of Micro not microprocessors, circuit boards. Where the hell is circuit board? You'd think it'd be on the same page as microprocessor. There it is right there. Which is a heat capacitor and a polyfiber. And each one is worth just about a million credits. So if I could make 10 or 12 of those, that would be just peachy. Um, unfortunately, to make a heat capacitor, I need frost crystals. I need 100 frost crystals which means I'm going to need a whole bunch of frost crystal plants I'm going to show you in a minute, and a whole bunch of selenium plants. Those are all plants. Uh, these are all plants. Cactus flesh and star bulb. So I'm going to need 200 of those, or 300 for this and 300 for this, to make one. And I don't want this to take, you know, I want to be able to make 10 a day, or 10 every time I log in. <coughs> so I have a pretty efficient mining thing. I can go... Well, I shouldn't have gone to copper first. <coughs> copper is one of my newer bases, and I spent some, some more time building it. Now, these are outposts, so the actual building is relatively small. So, oh, this is my old, I went to the wrong one. This is my old copper one. I have, I have decommissioned this one. I just haven't torn the whole building down yet. Uh, that's because this is copper class C, which is the worst kind, remember ABCS, and I found a class S one, so I built a class S one. I actually have enough uh, bag space, I might as well have torn that down while I was there, but I don't want to take the time. Like I said, this video is going to be long enough. Oh, it's important we remember the name of that system started with a G, because I'll never remember the whole thing. I usually write them down, and I did not. All right, so as you can see, I have a much larger, this is just you know, a, a, essentially a shack on a planet. Uh, I put the teleporter inside, and I did a nice job hiding the wiring. You can actually only see this little nub of it. Um, in this base, the uh, solar panels and stuff are up on top. Uh, I actually have too many solar panels here because I misunderstood something. I have five solar panels, I only need four. <coughs> but here you can see all the wiring that goes together and uh, we come off a battery of course and the wiring goes here underground over to these two miners and these two miners are filling up these storage tanks with copper so I have 5500 copper Uh, which we're going to tr we're going to create or we're going to uh, we're going to make it into this chromatic metal. Okay, did you hear all that? The in incoming supercell storm, and uh, I can't point with the mouse here. But in the lower left hand corner, there's an orange bar and a white bar, and you'll notice that our orange bar is going down, and there's a little arrow pointing down saying it's going down. When that super cell gets here, that's going to change from one arrow to three arrows, and that orange bar is going to go down much faster. 
there are ways to deal with it. You can, there are mitigations and stuff. But I, I just don't really want to deal with that. So if I come in here, oh, there's, here, you can see the storm. See, oh, it's only two arrows, so it's not even a bad storm. So I, I could, I could deal with it. Oh, this is one of those plants that I need. Yeah, I don't need gamma weed. Oh, there's three, three, and see how fast that orange bar drops, and then you can't really see. It's, it's, it's just a nightmare. So what I'm looking for is a base on a planet that doesn't have any of that. I want to build. I'm looking for a planet that doesn't have any of that, so I can build a base. So there was that. Um, I want the oxidized copper. The oxidized copper is on a planet that is always under bad storms. These can get so bad, and it took me so long to build this, because this planet was just a disaster. But I wanted to build it, so I thought it'd be fun. You'll notice it says planet-wide radiation storms in the bottom left. Um, I actually built this so I can stand in here and get the oxidized copper without ever leaving without ever leaving the building uh, this is cute that's my ship <laughs> I, I built too close to the base thing um, is there anything else I, oh I want to show you my cobalt base because my cobalt was my the first base I ever built um, not counting this is my, my first outpost base uh, I do have a home base. Um, but the home base I have rebuilt significantly since I first started it. So these are the kinds of things I don't want to deal with on the new base. So here again I have the thing right next to the supply depot. I have it right next to my thing. But I have, you'll notice, I'm not going to run all the way down there, especially with the storm coming. There's... Uh, three things here and there's another one down there and way down there in the back that's the actual mine so i built this building and base before i knew how to, how to work with these mines so had i done it the other way i would have i really didn't want the cobalt but um had i done it the other way uh found the found the location i would have built the base much closer <laughs> all right so we're gonna go back to my first base now which is this one and the farmer has a quest for me, and I don't have to go anywhere to do that, so I'll probably do that real quick, because he usually gives me groovy stuff. So, this is how you grow plants. Um, you put them in these. You can either plant them outdoors if you plant them on the right, in, in their normal habitat or if you want to grow them indoors you have to put them in these now notice i just harvested a star a star bulb that gave me 25 uh that's not very good i want i want to grow much more of them and i'll show you i have a larger pl pot for these but i did it wrong in my starship so what do you want watch i don't have what he wants Uh, he wants more star bubble, of course. <clears throat> I happen to have more. So, what these guys are, these are, are the dudes on my base. This guy is the overseer. Uh, this is the scientist. This guy gives me upgrades for my uh, dune buggies. Oh, and we, I missed showing the dune buggy. And this guy gives me upgrades for my uh, <clears throat> multi-tool. These are storage containers. You can have 10 of them. And I do have all 10 on my starship. This base was not designed for those being in a good place. So I just want to start over, which is the whole point of this video. I'm going to go to a new planet and build a new base and move all these guys there. So if I give him this, what's he going to give me back?
hybrid ant dallas pollen i don't know what, what is i i think you just sell these and it gives you money so he essentially gave me a quarter million credits i'll take that i i i'm not here to look at this stuff though right now um That's got to go there. I don't think I have the... I, I have a place where I store big money things. I want to show you... Uh, the first dune buggy I got. And then I'll come back here and show you the other two I have. That always says insufficient power. And it's never right. There's always enough power for this to work. Uh, there's a switch behind it. A proximity switch that turns on when I get close. I have no way to pause. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Anyways, the uh, the first dune buggy I got is this guy. I haven't used it very much. They call him Exocraft because, you know, why not? But as you see, it has a gun and it has a laser and you can put upgrades in it. Um, there was a whole expansion related to these things. I, I haven't found them to be all that much fun, but I want to build a garage. See, it's got its own little, this is its little landing pad. So if you get in it, you can drive it around. Uh, it has a, uh, a scanner, and there it is. It has a little boost, so you can go faster. Ooh. What is that? Oh, it's a whispering egg. I am not dealing with that right now. I just don't care. So if, you know, something happens and you get out of this and you end up you know, teleporting yourself back home. Uh, I am going to pick this up real quick. Well, 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 just while we're here. You can never, ever have too much of this dihydrogen. Okay. So you'll notice this, this thing is, you know, kind of sticking up out of the ground. It's not very pretty, um, but you can call your rover back. Um, here you can customize it and make it change its colors. And, I mean, you could be here for hours customizing that. I, you know, I just want a nice place to park that thing. Although, look, it made a mess. <laughs> uh, so this stuff here, which seems stupid, rusted metal, uh, it seems like a stupid thing to collect, but rusted metal, when put through a refiner, becomes ferrite dust. And I should put a large refiner in here, but I just, I don't care that much. Uh, I'm going to move all of this to my new base. Uh, the processing of it, at least. So, this rusted metal takes, takes one rusted metal, you'll get two ferrite dust, and it's going to take 20 minutes. So... I use this as a set it and forget it operation. And then here you'll see I took rusted ferret or ferret dust, which was the output of that first one, and I, I, I make that into pure ferrite. And now I'm gonna have a ton of it again, so I might as well do that again. Actually I'm not going to because I don't remember which one I need. Uh, because if you look at my inventory, it starts off as the rusted metal, which I don't carry around. Oh, I have lots of ferret, ferret, ferret dust. I have lots of pure ferrite, and I have lots of magnetized ferrite. We might as well make more magnetized ferrite. But I'm only going to put half in here. Okay. So we're going to go back to our first base. Oh, that farm request I did, that, that's a daily. So it's not like he'll do that every time I come back there. So 
So, um, to get all the dune buggies, I was doing quests for uh, this dude over here in the corner. And he gave, I don't know why you guys end up inside my base. They're always there. Look, I don't have any creature pellets. Leave me alone. So, I think this one is supposed to be for mining. It's supposed to be fast and nimble. I, I drove it once. I really hated the experience. But this thing just looks cool. <laughs> it's a Colossus, it's called. Uh, I haven't actually used it. Can I change my view? Yeah. Oh, you could drive it from inside here. How crazy would that be? Um, but this Colossus has a ton of inventory space. So if you're going out for stuff, you know. However, what's weird is like the upgrades also take up. So it's got an engine and a mining laser at the moment. So I would have to put a bunch of upgrades into it by crafting them. Uh, there's tire upgrades. No health and life support. Interesting. No hazard protection. Just movement. That's it. I could put all of these in there. But that's it. I don't know what this is for, but it just looks neat. So, I'm going to build a garage and put all three of these in a row inside it. Uh, as the beginning of the base. On top of that garage, I'm going to put... Oh, well, doesn't make a difference which way I go. Oh, here. There, there's that proximity switch I was talking about. Um, if I were going to build, you know, now when I build these, I put them under the floor. Um, just because I have learned, you know, a bunch more. <coughs> when I first built this base, it was a 4x4 four four shack. And the teleporter was right here. I, I've since moved it inside. Um, since this base doesn't do anything, it doesn't have very much power requirements. So anyways, as I was saying, um, I want to build a landing pad on top of the garage, and then from there I want to build a suspended in-air base so it looks kind of groovy. Um, this is a landing pad, and the landing pad comes with this door. The landing pad must connect to something, which took me a while to figure out. I had a quite a, quite a bad time trying to get this landing pad installed so it looked reasonable. Uh, this is my ship. It is an explorer. That B colon 26 plus 7 means it's a class B ship. It has 26 storage slots and 7 technology slots. It's worth 5.4 million units. Uh, I actually found this and I repaired it. I'll show you what that means in a second. And it became mine. So this is the, the 24 slots that it has, which we could upgrade. And here's the 7 technology slots. I don't have a lot in here. I just have a rocket launcher and an economy scanner. Uh, I'll show you the economy scanner now because it's important. While we are on our way to that ship, um, the economy scanner, oh, I'll show it to you when, we, when, we, when we're doing the, the next step while we're looking for planets. You'll notice that ship has some smaller ships flying around it. There's one, two, three, four, five. The, so that big ship and those five ships are all mine. This is my capital ship. It's a freighter. Um, I think that's all that... You don't get a choice of capital ships. It's not like you can... Uh, it, it is not as though you can, uh, you know, have a your own big uh, carrier or, or what have you. However, these ships are in a... They're not in a group, but I send them out on missions. Oh, you're damaged. I'm sorry, I have to go fix him. So this is actually kind of neat, and it's also kind of weird. Um, you can you have to repair ships when they come back from missions. And to do that, you actually have to land on them. So hopefully it's only two or three and not six. Oh, good. It's, it's only three. 
So now what I have to do here is look for these red things. Um, I think we need to go down into the ship for those. I've only done this a couple of times and every ship's layout seems to be unique. Okay, this airlock control unit is broken. Uh, what do you know? Titanium, I have lots of that. What's nice is that titanium is actually in my in my spaceship, I think. My starship. Yeah, there's 500 titanium in there. But you can use it as a source um, to repair your stuff. So where's the next one? The next one is up this way. Um, did I run past it? Let's 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 go into here and see if it's oh, it's here. And this will be the same thing. Fifteen tritium. <sighs> It's never expensive to repair this stuff. I think it's just, you know, to give you something to do. And then the last one is... Now this is going to take me back to my ship. We don't want to go there yet. This will take me to the other side. But this does seem to be where the <clears throat> where the problem is. <clears throat> okay. So frigate is repaired. So now we have to go back underneath and get back over to our ship. And please don't think I, you know, have some magic compass and know where I am. I've just done this a couple of times, so I know the layout of this particular ship, I think. And yay, I did get back to my starship. Okay. I don't see any other red, so that means nobody else is it, nobody else got damaged. So we'll go over here to my capital ship. Ah! I blew the landing. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but in the upper left-hand corner, my shield is half gone. That's from bouncing off of my ship. <laughs> oh, every time you get out of a ship, it saves your game. So this is my capital ship. I have done very little with it because it's very difficult to build in. Um, but if you go up this way, well, I'll show you the bridge in a minute because we're gonna have to go up there to relaunch those uh, those ships that came back. They were out on a mission that took something around 27 hours if I recall correctly. And here's where you talk to the commander. One, two, there should be five there. Oh, because the one I fixed won't show up there because it came back early. So we debrief the commander, and this is all procedurally generated, which is kind of neat. Um, I'm not going to read you the whole thing, but we'll see the summary at the end. Um, Surveyed an asteroid field in the something system. 
Uh, field largely comprised of low-value compacted rock. Rock survey revealed one huge crystal asteroid at the heart of the field. Collected with tractor beam, they got 522 activated indium. That's nice. Uh, this one didn't do anything useful. It's just there to read. Oh, more activated indium. I don't even know what to do with indium. <coughs> I think I can convert it back from activated to regular indium. And then I can use it to build that indium drive, I think. There's activated emerald. Uh, more pearls. Uh, lemon, lemonium, lem, lemonium. I don't know how to say that. Oh, here's where the ship was sent home for repairs. Wow, you're not going to... Three semiconductors? That's nice. Okay. A third of a million credits. A quarter of a million credits. I don't know what a grantine is. I don't think we've ever seen that before. That, all things considered, wasn't what I would call a great expedition. But I think some of this stuff is worth a lot of money, so... And a handful of invisible seedlings. But I, I have made a good bit of money sending these guys out. I think the last time they went out, they came back with three or four million credits. Some people move their uh, their guys into the, the farmer and the overseer and the scientist. They move them up into here, because you can. <coughs> I'm going to put. The, I'm going to give them each their own office in the space I'm going to build. Um, so here's where I can send them out on things. I don't know how to view my ships. Um, that's industrial. Twenty-one hours. We're going to send them on this balanced expedition for twenty-seven hours. You'll notice difficulty rating is two stars. Um, I think I'll end up with a three-star fleet. Oh, another one got promoted. So I got three Class A's, a B, and a C. Um, the more missions these guys go on, uh, the more uh, they, they will rank up. Eventually they will all become Class S. You'll notice there was more room in that window. You can have, oh, I hate this part. I always forget to make fuel. And there's nowhere, no way to make fuel from that, uh, from that screen. So you've got to exit out, come back to your freighter, uh, go here, and hit craft product. Oh, is, this, is this 200 right here? Yeah. Hopefully I have enough of everything. I don't. It says I need more tritium, which is is both true and false. Can I do it from here? Can I go to my starship and I should have these tritium clusters? When you use them, they turn into tritium. But I think they turn into tritium in my exosuit, which is really annoying. They do. How many does that say? 389? Let's get down to 15, I guess. And you get those by just sh mindlessly shooting asteroids. Where did I get an antimatter from? Oh, because sometimes it turns into that. Uh, no, I, I, I skipped a step. We're, we're ahead of ourselves. we got to go back to the freighter and make more of these. Okay. So, there, there, there's enough fuel now. We wanted the 27 hour one. And off they go. So, you saw there's a thing that said something about upgrade modules. You get upgrade modules from them going out and doing it but you have to research them first. And the one I want first is this matter beam, which makes it so that I can interact with the ship's, the, this ship's inventory pretty much wherever I am, I think. I, I don't know how far away it works. But I need one more of these 
salvaged frigate modules. I only have four. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Uh, I've only been doing this for a few days now, so I don't know how it all works. So these barrels will give you stuff every once in a while. Um, you can actually learn how to build them yourself. Here's, okay, so uh, I have these here so that I can refine copper into this chromatic metal. The chromatic metal was, uh, I, I thought it was really awesome and a good way to make money, and I made quite a bit of money selling it, but it turns out, oh my god, look how much copper I have. It turns out it's really not a great way to, to to make money, but this stuff is useful, so I keep making it. Oh my god. I don't even think I went and got the iodized, uh, iodized copper, did I? We're not going to stay and wait for this to finish. So here is my little farm. You'll notice this grows, this one thing will grow four plants, but I didn't know that, and I put a whole bunch of them inside the wall. But in order to move them, I have to pick them up, and I, in order to do that, I have to take all the stuff out of them. So I thought, you know what, we're just going to leave this here for right now. We'll collect all the stuff in here. Um, we're just going to leave this all here and we're gonna go build a new base with just a huge grow room in it I mean I'm talking I'm gonna make a huge grow room so I have filled my inventory of course because that doesn't take but a second in this game um, cactus flesh handful of invisible seedlings star bulb Okay, um, this goes to the starship. This goes, the starship is full. That That's not a good thing I, I, I've done. Um, what is the starship filled with? It has warp cells, it has antimatter, uranium. Um, it shouldn't have this. The pyrite's fine there, the gold is fine, silver is fine. Platinum. Now let's do this. Okay, then put that in the starship. This is all my storage for stuff I don't know what to do with. Um, or things like this one, I, in my mind, is for things that have value. So these Gravitino Balls have value because they're used in, in uh, crafting, I think. These Storm Crystals have value because you can only get them by being on one of those stor storm planets in very, very harsh uh, conditions. <sighs> what else do I have here? I'm just trying to clear out inventory space because I don't need some of this stuff. I don't want it on me for what we're about to do. So I have 10 of these things and I have them in a really stupid orientation. So I have a three by three square with an extra one stuck in the middle at the back. And I have no way of remembering what's in what and I never do. So I just have to go around looking for stuff and it <laughs> it's just a huge waste of time. So anyways, this is my, my, my freighter. Uh, this is the kind of stuff it does. Uh, this should be done by now.
know what? Let's let's keep some copper. I'll be mad at myself if I need it for something later. So the last thing I'm going to show you before I go start planet hunting is the uh, the Death Star. It's not actually the Death Star. I forget what it's called. But <clears throat> it's essentially the player hub. <clears throat> What's nice about this freighter and this player hub thing is, well, you can't fly the freighter. The, or the freighter just, you, you summon it, and it'll come to where you are. Uh, this is what I was talking about when I said you shoot asteroids. You just mindlessly... I, I When I need stuff, I'll fly through these for 15 minutes or so, just, just shooting them, and you get stuff. Uh, I'm going to overfill my inventory because I don't have space in this thing, but that's all right. <clears throat> but what you can do is come out here and summons uh, the Space Anomaly, it's called. And the Space Anomaly is handy for a few things. So if we go over here, this is where the main storyline takes place. These two guys, this is uh, Nan, I think that's his name. Him and him, they're, they're, they're important. They give you all kinds of information and keep the storyline moving. But this room back here is the most important because this is where you get all the upgrades. So this is where you learn to craft starship upgrades. You won't be able to tell, but I have unlocked them all. Because, you know, me. <laughs> this is where you unlock building upgrades, or construction upgrades. There are a ton, you know, it's the LB and RB up there where it says large prefabs. There is a bunch of stuff. Um, I still haven't figured out what the difference is between this paving and this paving. They look identical. <laughs> but I need to get this uh, biodome yet, and this viewing sphere, and the hollow door. But I don't have enough salvage data to get it at the... or do I? No, I only have six salvage data. So, but there's large prefabs, there's small prefabs, which I have all of. There's technology modules, which I don't have all of. This is probably what I need to do, unlock. This nutrient processor, will, if I unlock that, that'll probably unlock cooking for me. Um, here's some stuff. Uh, I, I think these are all different kinds of Exocraft. What is a oh a race in it? That's for making races. Okay. Anyways, I I don't know what all this is right now. I have these three. It looks like I need to plan f to be able to build space for six or seven of them. One of these, however, okay. Th this seems I don't know if I don't if I want that or not. Heavy loader storage bay. Oh, this is this is that suit. We may have to look at that. Uh, this is a submarine, which I won't have to worry about. And that's an underground secure parking facility for the Pilgrim Light Exocraft. I don't know what that is. So it looks like I'm going to have to make sure I, I leave space to build stuff. Um, anyways, there's also aquatic buildings, which I have not even begin to, begun to consider yet. There's a bunch of decals, so you can you know make your base look pretty. Um, under decorative modules, I found out, there, here's that barrel you saw me just, just interact with. You can build more of them. Um, more decorative modules, illumination. I mean, you could just, I will get all this stuff. 
I just don't have it yet. Um, I got all of these by uh, uh, doing quests for the farmer. I didn't actually purchase those. Uh, here's all the wooden shelter parts. Ooh, I need more metal shelter parts. I am going to have to go out and do some collecting. Although I have six, right? Um, I don't think I'm going to want the arch or the roof. I may want the roof panel for what we're going to do. What is this? A power door. That would look cool on my on my garage. Uh, doorway. That's useful. No, we definitely want the window panel. We're going to use lots of windows. Let's grab the small metal wall. Those are good for making bases. Sloping metal panel is good for roofs. I haven't figured out what to do with these triangles yet. I'm sure people have done all sorts of videos. I definitely want this metal ramp just in case. So I'm going to have to get a bunch more of those. Uh, anyways, this is where you get upgrades for your uh, exosuit. And of course, again, I have all of them. You can get an exosuit upgrade here, um, but you can only do it once in every star system, but goodness knows there's plenty of star systems. Uh, this is the multi-tool research. I think I have all of these. I do. This, I only know because I saw somebody else do it in a video, is where you research cooking, and I haven't unlocked cooking yet. And here's exocraft research. And I seem to have most of that. What is this? Uh, this goes on the submarine. That goes on the sub. These all go on the submarine, which is why I haven't bothered unlocking them yet. Because <clears throat> I don't know what to do with the submarine. I'm sure I'll figure it out. The other thing that this has is it has a portal. This has an interesting portal. I always use it for the same thing. But you can go... Uh, all kinds of places. Um, recent, I assume, is places I've been recently. They occasionally highlight things. Like someone did a nice job building something here, and there's a whole village somebody built here. Um, I'm not going to go there because I'm afraid to get lost. I don't know what the space anomaly is yet. I don't think I've gotten to that part of the game yet. <laughs> But you can also use it to go to any one of your bases, which is what I'm going to use it for. Um, that's actually not what I really want. I really wanted to go back to that. Um, I really wanted to go back to uh, that planet I was at. But you know, now that I say that, I seem to recall... I want to see something. So I like glass. I use glass a lot. That's a little too much glass, but I should be able to look at discoveries. Here's all the systems I've visited. Oh, I need to upload some. Which was the last? So here's where I, I was. <coughs> I think this keeps track <coughs> of. Uh, the systems in order you went to them or you know because that's the one I was that I had uh, gone through the black hole to get to but that's not connected to anything but I think oh here's the red one so I did not have But it does tell you what they are, so that's good. Um, I have an upgrade in all of my starships called an economy scanner. And so when I look around at the, 
the big map, I can see the economy of every solar system. I'm not necessarily looking for economy, although it would be nice. What I am looking for I believe I found a planet that was Earth-like. Uh, see on, on this card here how it says desolate planet underneath its name? Uh, I don't want poisonous. Incandescent. That's probably a good one to go look for phosphorus at, which I really need. Poisonous. Rotting. What does verdant mean? I don't know what verdant means. It's got high sentinel activity. I uh, don't know if I really want to mess with that. A wine dark planet, rainy planet, toxic planet. Nuclear, super critical desert. That's a charred planet. That'd be a good one to go look for phosphorus on. Super critical. There it is. I had I knew I saw a paradise planet somewhere so not only does it have cad cadmium it also is a paradise planet which is where I want to build my home base so that was Enjo something or another so what I should be able to do is without having to fly there I should be able to go to Anjo should be in this list if I understand correctly because I've been there before Come on. Did I look at the wrong thing? A N O N G. Oh, we need to, we, we don't go to the system. You got to go to the uh, No. You do have to go to the system. A N O N J O. Ananjo. Okay, so that set a waypoint. I can set a waypoint on my galactic map. I don't really want to. I really would prefer just to teleport there if I can. Yeah, space stations. Nope. Nope. All right, it's not there. So let's uh, let's fly there, I guess. Let's uh, I keep hitting all the wrong buttons. So we'll set a waypoint. Have to escape the atmosphere. can bring up the star map and it should have given me a waypoint uh, no it's it's filtered on current mission I want free explore this is where I get into trouble with this stupid map So Ananjo should be around here, and it should be easily found. Uh. 
Okay, why can I not find it? All right, bro, I'm going to take a break and cut this here. Um, when I figure out where I'm going and I'm going to get start building, I will start another video. Anyways, uh, probably not going to watch all this, but maybe you learned something, maybe you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.